Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create this laurel reef. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and leave the fill black. First we will create a leaf. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool and draw a narrow ellipse. Then switch to the Convert Anchor Point tool by pressing the Shift and C keys on your keyboard or select it from the toolbar panel. Now click on this anchor point to create a sharp corner. And do the same with the opposite corner. Next select the Add Anchor Point tool and click along this path to add an extra anchor point. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and adjust the position and curves. Select everything, adjust it a bit more and let's resize it. Next we'll create a stem. Swap the fill and the stroke, press the letter P for the pen tool and draw a straight line. Increase its weight to about 10 points. Now select the leaf, rotate it and move it closer to the line. Next we'll create more leaves and arrange them along the stem. With the leaf selected go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Turn on the preview box to see what we are doing. Here you can experiment with different values to get the effect you desire. Let's change the copies to 16 and the horizontal move value to about 52. Then we need to reflect every other leaf to the top. To do this select the Reflect Y option, then highlight the vertical value and using the down arrow key on your keyboard adjust the number. Highlight the vertical scale value and adjust it as well. Play with those numbers to see what works for you. Next we'll make a few changes to the leaves. First go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Then go to Object again and choose Ungroup. Go to Object one more time and Ungroup again. This will allow you to make any changes to individual shapes. Let's zoom in on this part. Move this leaf over here and extend the stem. If you wish you can adjust it a little bit more. Let's delete this leaf. Next we'll adjust the stem. You can leave it as it is or you can either apply a different width profile or create your own. With the stem still selected go to the width tool. Now click on the stroke, hold and drag it in or out. To learn more about the width tool and how to use it please check out my other tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description below. When you are done select everything. Next we will use this branch to create a brush. Open the brushes window and drag this design into it. Select the art brush, choose the left to right direction and change the colorization method to tints. And here is our new brush. Now you can delete everything from the artboard. Next we'll apply this brush to an arc. First select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and select only the anchor point on the right. Now press the Delete key on your keyboard. Make sure the half circle is selected and then press the letter R for the Rotate tool. Move the rotation point to the bottom of this arc by clicking on this anchor point. Now select the top anchor point and move it left just a little bit. Open the brushes window and select the new brush we've created to apply it to this arc. 
If you like, you can increase or decrease the stroke's weight. Next, we'll adjust the bottom part of this branch. Select everything, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Go to Object again and choose Ungroup. And repeat the same step one more time. Press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Then click on the side ruler, hold and drag a guideline to mark the center point of our reef. Select everything and let's rotate it a little bit more. Now zoom in on the bottom part. Select this part with the direct selection tool to show all the anchor points and we'll make two cuts. Press the letter C for the scissors tool and make one cut here and another one down below. Switch to the group selection tool and select the cut part. I'm going to change its fill to a bright color so it's easier to see. Next we'll reflect it and adjust its shape. To do this press the letter O for the reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel and then press enter. Now change the axis to horizontal and click OK. Let's rotate it and change its position. Finally, we will connect it with the stem. First, switch to the Direct Selection tool and select this anchor point. Then, holding down the Shift key, select the top anchor point of the other shape. Now press the Ctrl and J keys on your keyboard to join them together. And let's do the same with the two bottom anchor points. If needed, adjust the curves. Make the sharp corners smooth, delete unwanted anchor points and make any other adjustments to get the look you desire. Select the top leaf, then right click with your mouse, choose Arrange and bring to front. Select the stem and change its fill to black. Next, we we'll reflect it to the other side and create a copy. Select everything, group it together, then choose the Reflect tool and holding down the Alt key, click on this guide to set the Reflect point. Choose the vertical axis and click Copy. Select everything, group it together, hide the guide and you can leave it as it is or you can add a background. First open the Layers panel and create a new layer. Move it to the bottom and make sure it is selected. Now draw a black rectangle to cover the artboard. Lock the bottom layer, select the top layer and apply a different color or go to Swatches, click on the Swatch Libraries menu Choose Gradients, Metals and pick one that you like. If you wish, you can add the same gradient to the stroke as well. Just click on the fill, hold and drag it into the stroke. Now adjust the gradient and the stroke's weight as desired. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.